Peace and blessings, guys. Peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger. We are back with another video. This one's going to be about seven facts for the Sabbath day. Many people have been asking me to make a video on the Sabbath day. How do, how do I keep it? And uh, I've talked about this maybe like 20 times in my videos, but I never made a, a video specifically for the Sabbath day. So let's get it. Let's go. I'm going to clear up a lot of confusion that people will say about the Sabbath day. Um, Jesus is the Sabbath day. We don't have to keep it no more. So I'm going to clear up all the confusion. And before I get started with the video, I want to go with a verse. Um, this verse is a lot of verses. This verse, like... I never heard it until I read the Bible myself. Okay, 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 8 to 10 says, But we know that the law is good if a man use it lawfully. Verse 9, Knowing this, that the law is not made for the righteous man, but for the lawless and disobedient, for the ungodly and for sinners, and for unholy and profane and defiled, for murderers of fathers and murderers of mothers, for manslayers, for warmongers, for them that defile themselves with mankind, for manslayers, for liars, for perjurious persons, and there be any other thing that is contrary to sound doctrine. Okay, so if so, that's what the law was made for. Think about it, guys. In this world, we have laws. Okay, if we don't follow the laws, we get punished. If we don't follow the laws, or it could lead us to, you know, death. Which, don't you think the same thing about God's laws? If you're not keeping any type of laws that God says, now I'm not just talking about the Sabbath, I'm talking about laws in general, okay? Thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not worship other gods. So the law, we need the law, we need the Ten Commandments. So before I start this video, I have to say that the law was created for not the righteous man, but for sinners and the, the whole list I listed, okay? That's in 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 8 to 10. All right, number one, let's get it, let's go. The number one fact of the Sabbath day, guys, is the Sabbath day is a seven day of the week, which is on Saturday. Okay, now some people, they keep it from Friday sun, Friday day sunset to Saturday sunset. Some people just keep it on uh, Saturday. For me, I keep it on Friday, uh, Friday sunset to Saturday sunset. The Sabbath day is not on Sunday. Sunday is not the seven day of the week. And now there's gonna be people saying, no, Mark, I keep it on Wednesday. I keep it on Thursday because we're living in a different calendar. Listen, guys, the calendar I go off of is a calendar. When I look at the phone, it's a Saturday. That's the calendar I go off of. So if it says it's Saturday, that's when I keep it. Okay, so that's just for me. If you keep it on Wednesday because you take you follow the Georgian calendar or whatever you say calendar, that's on you. But I keep it on Saturday, the calendar that I go off of. We live in Babylon, so I just go off. You know, I know that everything has been changed. Okay, they're trying to change what God has already ordained because it's you know we know the time we know the times we're living in and all that. Okay, so number two is it is still the fourth commandment. It's funny because. When you go to the fourth commandment, it says, remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Why did God say, remember? He didn't just say, keep the Sabbath day. He says, remember the Sabbath day because many people will forget about it. Okay, this is in Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. It says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Okay, and how do you keep it holy? By being set apart. Okay, um, what are some, what are some, the rules of the Sabbath day is you're not supposed to buy or sell. Uh, you're not supposed to work. Um you know, you're supposed to be selfless, you know, help other people. You know, the Pharisees, they ever try to condemn Jesus for uh, because he was being selfless on the Sabbath day. He was helping other people and they were like, you know, you're not supposed to work. And see, many people twist that verse as into not to keep the Sabbath day because what the Pharisees did. But no, Jesus was actually helping. was actually being selfless on the Sabbath day. You're supposed to be like that. If you see, if you see someone in need, you're not going to go help them out. So the Pharisees were being, you know, religious, overly religious. OK, the enemies of the people who are of the body of Christ. Your enemies are going to be religious people. Always understand that. Number three, okay, the Sabbath day is not only for the Jews. Okay, let's read this verse. This is in um, Mark chapter two, uh, two, verse 27 to 28. It says, this is Jesus speaking. And he said unto them, the Sabbath was made for man and not the man for the Sabbath. Okay, so you see the Sabbath was made for man. It doesn't, it doesn't just say that the Sabbath is made for the Jews, for, the, for us Hebrews, right? It's made for anyone who loves God because the Bible says, if you love me, keep my commandments. So always understand that, guys. The Sabbath day is not only for the Jews. Okay, this is the Bible saying right here. The Sabbath day was made for man and not uh, and not man for the Sabbath. Okay, we need rest. God who created the heaven and the earth, even he took a day off. Even he took a rest. You know how a lot of people say, um, you know, I, I'm always working or no days off and stuff like that. But listen, if God took a day off, I know I need to take a day off. And I'm going to explain that a little bit more. In number six, that it's important to take a day off. So, um, man, I got so much to talk about in this video, guys. So, all right. So, yeah, the Sabbath day is not only for Jews. Let's clear that up. Number four is blessings come. Woo! We love talking about blessings, right? Yes. Okay, blessings come with honoring the Sabbath day, okay? Isaiah chapter 58, verse 13 to 14. Okay, let's read what it says. If thou shalt turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy of the Lord, honorable, shall honor him. 
not doing thy own ways, nor finding thy own pleasure, nor speaking thy own words. Then shall thy delight thyself in the Lord, and I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth, and feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Woo! Yeah, guys, I could I could vouch for this. Whenever so I have a business where I I flip like consoles, I flip shoes, stuff like that, right? And it's crazy because on Saturday is when everyone hits me up to buy or to buy stuff from me, right? And I'm like, nah, like I gotta, you know, that's the Bible says you're not supposed to work, you're not supposed to buy or sell. I gotta honor God, I gotta trust in Him, you know. And I, I didn't lean on my own understanding, you know. That's what a lot of people are doing. They're trying to lean on their own understanding. And guys, check this out. Everyone hits me up on Saturday for whatever reason, and I'm like, nah, like I just tell them like I'm busy. If I tell them I'm taking this, I'm keeping this Saturday, they're like, what the heck? So I just tell them like, oh, I'm not busy, you know, stuff like that, right? And believe this not, guys. So I and like let's say so I'm like, oh dang, you know, I'm losing money and stuff like that, right? And the next day, or let's say the next week, I get abundance amount of sales. Like that. I remember I just sold something that I had for like four hundred dollars, and someone, some guy who was like, oh, it was actually four twenty, and he was like, oh, I don't have no change. He just gave me four fifty. He gave me an extra thirty bucks. Okay, so it's and it's like I just remember like wow, like I got people giving me good deals, like crazy good deals. It's like and I, that didn't happen before I was keeping the Sabbath day. So it's like, dang, God's really in control. God is really blessing me, man. So yes, guys, I'm telling you, when you when you honor God's Sabbath, I'm telling you, bro, I'm living proofs, testimony on testimony. Woo! I'm telling y'all, bro. You might think, oh, I'm you know, you're not working on Saturday. Oh, damn, I'm missing now on uh, how am I gonna pay my bills? See, that's leaning on your own understanding. Okay, your father is gonna bless you abundantly. That's not what Mark the Messenger says. That's what Isaiah chapter 58, verse 13 to 14. Not doing your own pleasure, delighting yourself in the Lord. Okay, like I said, number six, I'm going to go in why it's important to keep the Sabbath day, guys. But I'm telling you, for all you business owners, all you guys who work, best believe God will bless you for you, you know, not doing, not buying, not selling, not, uh, you know, working. I'm telling you guys, living proof of that. Now, if you have a job and they're not letting you work, uh, they're not letting you take Saturday off, you should ask God for it. I'm not God. You got to ask yourself. He will lead you. He'll guide you. And it, let's, say if you, let's say if you're working on Saturday, right? You're not going to go to hell. There's always that one person. You're not going to go to hell. You're not going to be condemned. You know, just ask God for guidance. Okay. God is patient. He's merciful. We're not under the law. So if we are selling and buying, you know, we're not going to be condemned to hell. Okay. We're under grace, but it doesn't mean that we should abuse it by, you know, doing it willfully. Okay. Like I understand some people are in certain situations, but like I said, for my own testimony, guys, when I don't keep the Sabbath day, it's like blessings. On, oh, sorry. Sorry. When I do keep the Sabbath day, it's like blessings on blessings, guys. Even though I might be losing on that day, God shows me the next days I'm winning abundantly, <laughs> you know? So yeah, all praises the most high, man. Number five, Jesus didn't come to destroy the Sabbath day. Okay. A lot of people think that the laws are done away with, and that's what the Christian church has taught people. Not all churches, of course, but a lot of the churches have taught people that. But when you read the Bible, it says in Matthew chapter 5, verse 17, verse 19, it says, Think not, not this is Jesus speaking, think not that I come to destroy the law or the prophets. I came not to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one title shall no wise, no wise pass from the law till it all be fulfilled. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Okay, so it just clearly says that Jesus didn't come to destroy no law. The only laws that we don't have to keep are like, uh, are sacrifice for our sins. Okay, you know, Jesus was a sacrifice. So we go to him. We don't need that. We don't have to kill like a pig or I don't, what do they kill? Sheep or goats? You know, we don't have to, we don't have to do that for our sins. You know, we have to, uh, can have the, confess our sins, had the blood of Christ to clean us from all unrighteousness. That's what we, that's just, that's a law that we don't need to do no more. Okay. But anything else, it still applies to today. Okay. And it says that whoever therefore shall break one of these commandments and shall teach men. So that's what many people are doing. Telling people, oh, you don't have to keep the Sabbath day. You don't have to keep no law of commandments. You don't have to do that. So, so if this is what Jesus, Jesus is speaking. Okay. Whoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and teach other people so, you don't have to keep the Sabbath day. You don't have to keep the commandments. He shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Wow. Okay, let's finish this. Let's finish this. Woo, woo, I'm fired up. Let's go, let's go. But whoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. All oh, praises to the most high, man. Woo, let's go. Okay, so whoever shall do and teach them. Okay, you get me, remember whoever shall do. So you don't want to be a hypocrite. You can't just be teaching people and you're not doing it. Okay, so number, number six, this is what I want to talk about, guys. 
is keeping the Sabbath day will keep your mind, your heart, your heart, and your soul centered on God. Okay, yes, I'm living proof, testimony on testimony. Woo! <laughs> testimony on testimony, yes. When you're keeping the Sabbath day, it, it keeps your mind on him, man. Like, not to say that my mind's on him uh, other days, but let's say I might be struggling. Let's say I might be in a trial and tribulation. Let's say some things I, I don't have my control that I can't control. The Sabbath day was, you know, like I'm more centered on him. And that's not, that's why I said it's important, you know, to have a day off. I don't believe in the, I, you know, I don't, no days off and stuff like that. I don't believe in that. I believe that, you know, a man should rest. You know, it's good to have rest. And even the Bible says in John chapter 14, verse 15, it says, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. Okay. Think about the times you got in relationships or y'all in marriages, right? When when you when some when you want someone to love you right, you want to back you want them to back it up with actions. You don't want them to just say they love you, and they're not having no actions to back it up. So that's just how God how God's like. That's just how God Jesus is. When we say we love Him, we gotta love Him with our actions. Our actions are fruits. Okay, that's how we show we love God and how according to what Jesus says. If you love me, keep my commandments. Okay, so simple. If you are like you say your husband saying if you love me, uh, stay home. Uh, you know, say, I don't know, you know, you know, whatever, whatever program he got going on, but he has his, you know, his form of love. And he, he wants to put action, not just by the words. Cause the Bible says that these people worship me with their lips and honor me with their mouths, but their heart is far from me. Okay. So that's what many people are today. All right. Number seven, Jesus kept the Sabbath day and his disciples did as well. Okay. So in Matthew chapter 24, verse 20 talks about how, uh, but pray ye that your flight be not in the in the winter, nor either on the Sabbath day. So they were keep the disciples. The, the disciples were Jesus and the disciples were keeping the Sabbath day. Okay, and also uh, Luke chapter four verse sixteen to seventeen says that, and he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up, and as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. Okay, so Jesus was keeping the Sabbath day. You know, a lot of people saying that Jesus, Jesus didn't keep the Sabbath day. What? Jesus was a man without sin. Of course he was keeping the Sabbath day, guys. So this is it, guys. Seven facts about the Sabbath day. Number one, the Sabbath day is the seventh day of the week. It's Saturday. Number two, it's still the fourth commandment. Remember the Sabbath day, keep it holy. Number three is the Sabbath is the Sabbath day is not only for the Jews. It's for anyone who's a believer in Christ, anyone who loves God, anyone who loves, uh, is a believer in God. Okay. Blessings come with honoring the Sabbath day. Number five is Jesus didn't come to destroy the Sabbath or the law. Number six is keeping the Sabbath day will keep your mind, your heart, and soul centered on God. Number seven is Jesus kept the Sabbath day and told his disciples too as well. Woo! If you guys learned something in this video, uh, leave a comment below. And before you leave Galatians chapter 3, verse 10, or whatever verse that's going to say that we're not justified by the law, I already know we're not justified by the law, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't keep it, okay? I love you guys so much. Make sure y'all like the video, y'all subscribe to the channel if you guys wish to support me. My links are down below in the description. I'm out. Peace.